The ambulance is shaking so much. I mean, and the rain is so loud. There's, I just, there's no way I can sleep. Listen to that. Um, so I might drive a little bit farther down the mountain and see if I can avoid this crazy wind and maybe go back to bed. This is ridiculous. That's how much the ambulance is shaking right now. I feel like I'm gonna get blown off this cliff. Oh yeah, nothing like a 4 a.m. sideways wind, snow, hailstorm to wake you up. I went to bed at 2.30. I got two hours of sleep. Not even. This road is just turning into a muddy mess. This is not what I planned on doing at four in the morning. All right, I just drove down the paved road for a while, found this spot. I'm pretty close to an actual highway over that way. But I'm gonna hop in the back and go back to sleep because it is five in the morning and I'm running on two hours of sleep. See you in a little bit. All right, good morning for the second time. It is now 9.30 in the morning and I'm getting woken up to another crazy wind storm. I'm actually ready to be awake this time, but I need to uh, clean this disaster up. I'm shocked to see that it's actually clear skies out right now. I figured with how windy it just was when I got woken up again this time that it would be like super cloudy and gross outside, but that's a plus. At least it's nice outside. It's the worst thing ever in van life whenever you're parked somewhere super secluded and you get woken up to a super bad storm that's just shaking the van so much and it's just like sketchy being out there. So you have to wake up and drive down a mountain or back into some sort of civilization at three or four in the morning. I hate that so much. It's not the worst thing ever, but still, it's just very, very annoying. But anyways, let's get out here, get back on the road and uh, keep on trucking. I'm wondering if the snow is gonna get bad up here because this is a crazy long line of trucks and I don't understand it. I've never seen a line of cars, but look, look at that. What, what is going on? I have no idea what that was all about. I had to make a pit stop at Trader Joe's because I rarely ever see them whenever I'm out driving around and I just happened to go right by one. So I'm gonna go into Trader Joe's, reload on a little bit of groceries. But before I go in, eating a little bit of vanilla yogurt with some granola in it. And that right there, is my breakfast for the day. Toss some trash on the way in. groceries all loaded up. This thing is like getting a little bit ridiculously packed now. Oh, and I forgot I still have leftovers from uh, cooking tacos in the previous video. But let's get on the road. I think I have to drive through the mountains so there may be snow, I don't know. But I'm gonna try to find some snow because I love driving in that. Nasty freaking weather out here. back down in Riverside, California now. I'm about to get on the highway again, but I pulled over to this little side section because I need to eat something. I am starving. So I think I'm gonna eat my leftover tacos and then get back on the road. Might head to San Diego, I'm not sure. Ooh, now I got that green dragon sauce. There we go. Peppers, 
and some hummus. Turn this off. Look at that. You know what? I was gonna warm this stuff up, but oh, actually, I have a microwave. I'm gonna use that. The inverter. So happy that I put that in whenever I built the ambulance. So much easier than just putting it back on the stove and heating it back up there and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. oh. <clears throat> I feel like you could pretty much just take anything, put it in a wrap, and it's still gonna be good. Ooh. On the road again. <laughs> I just pulled over, found a spot right off the highway next to a semi truck because I just like can't even keep my eyes open on the highway. Combination of the horrible sleep I got all night and all morning, stuffing my face with a bunch of food and sitting in traffic all day long. Just like, I can't stop yawning. Way too tired to be on the highway right now. Maybe take like a super quick power nap. Yeah, that sounds good. That is exactly what I needed. Back on the road we go. Good old Planet Fitness. so much better. Every part of me did not want to work out today, but after the workout, I always feel so good. Now I gotta find out where I'm staying tonight, because I have no idea. Gonna have to do laundry here in a day or so. Mm. All right, so, <clears throat> I just used this app called iOverlander. It has a lot of spots that people have stayed at across the country, all over the place. They're not official spots, it's just spots that people have been to and have been, they stayed the night there. And you typically didn't have any problems. So I don't know, it's kind of like, you gotta really use all these pins at your own discretion. So I found a spot, checked it out. I got like 30 minutes to go to San Diego. This is on the way. I'm gonna go there, post up, edit this video. Do I have another video to edit too? I don't even know, losing track. All right, this is home for the night. Back street, got a trailer there. Really old trailer over there. San Diego is really close to here. So hopefully we don't get bothered here tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and spend the rest of the night editing this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching again and I hope you guys are enjoying these daily videos. And I know this one was pretty uneventful, but that's just the reality of it. Some days are like today where I'm mostly just driving forever and grocery shopping and doing all the boring stuff, but I wanna show you guys my real life. So not every day is gonna be super exciting, but the next few videos should be ramping up a good bit because we got some cool stuff planned. So I will catch you guys then. Thanks guys, peace. Okay, first appreciate this delicious chicken sandwich with melted cheddar cheese on it that I just made. 
That is going to be fire. It looks weird. It's weird shape and it's weird bread, but it was my last piece of bread I had, so I needed to get rid of it. Um, but now we'll go over to that time lapse right there.